welcome back to episode 2 of my prison here in Roblox. You guys seem to love the first episode so much. We're back with a second one and today we're going to be expanding our prison for the first time. We've got some cash money Mular in the bank and we're going to try and build some more cells and some more stuff to hopefully get even more criminals inside of the prison. Now, if you guys do enjoy this, one, smash that like button down below if you want to see another episode after this. Uh, subscribe if you are new around here so you get notified when that episode does come out. And leave a comment saying Sunny IQ 4 play some more and we'll do just that. Now, this is the prison. It's currently really, really dark right now. It's still really, really early in the morning. The prisoners are currently asleep. And uh, this is the basic layout that we get given. Now, I've got 10,000 big ones in the bank, enough to hopefully fund some big, big expansion. So, whatever I decide today is going to be the layout, the setup of how we progress further on as we expand the prison. Now, right now, you can kind of buy additional tiles. Now, I know that this is a center section here. There is two tiles to buy on that side. These are Game Pass ones. And there's three tiles to buy on this side. So if I bought these three tiles here, we then have the center good to go. So I can kind of, kind of basically create some organization, some symmetry maybe when it comes to building my prison. So I'm going to buy you. I'm going to buy you. And I'm going to buy you. I've now purchased two or three, sorry, additional pieces of land, which are now made of dirt. What is going on? But from this, we can build our prison. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of build the cells going outwards. And let's get rid of the chat for a quick second. And I think I'm going to start over here. It's going to be very interesting, to say the least. Very, very, very interesting. Now, these current cells here, um, they are... By the looks of it, I can you can choose to go top down. There you go. They are two wide and four in length. So four in length, two in width. Uh, they have a bunk bed. They have a sink. They have a toilet. They have a window. This one has some kind of stuffs on the wall. I'm not quite sure what that is. But that's what we're going to try and replicate. Also, what's that on the wall there? Hold on. Let me change the camera. Oh, it's a light. It's a light. So we're going to try and replicate this then. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the prisoners in today, but we'll we'll take a good look. So we'll start then with the... We've got the grey bar, we've got the basic one. So if we go for this one here, it's... Uh, well, I think we'll start it... We'll start it about... Now, how I want it to work is they're going to go this way. So I'm going to flip them around from the normal way. That way I can get multiple um, kind of cell systems in, if that's the right word. So if I had you here, right, and then a normal wall just there. So that's one cell. Normal wall, normal wall, normal wall. And then with a window, a window, and a window. Now, this doesn't look like much, but this should be four cells. So one there, one there, 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 and there. So we'll bring them down this way with the door here. We'll have a corridor and then another set here. And then um, when I can afford this piece of land there, that's where we'll build the shower to kind of end the cell block. I'm basically going to create cell block wings. That's what I'm kind of hoping for. So two, three, four. Can I drag this? Oh, I can. All right, sweet. So I got to get that tree out of that current cell. So I'm going to get making the same size of what we currently got. Let me delete these trees. Do you get money from? Oh, you get money for deleting trees. Let's go, boys. I'm going to be rich. Oh, I've misplaced that one. Whoopsie. And then, how did I do this then? So they've got a, a jail door, but they're using the one, the, the, the bars with the walls. So we'll also use this so you can kind of see directly in. And then we need the jail door, which is the bars door here. And then we have four, or well, technically we have four brand new cells. And we don't really have anyone in there. Or we haven't got anything going down just yet. But it's there, boys. It's currently there. So how wide do we want to make the walkway? Do I make it three wide? Two wide? Um, I feel like four could be good. It's nice and wide. Gives us like a decent entry point. And if I just kind of mimic this and flip it on its other side. Let me get, you know what, let me quickly get rid of all these trees. That I've now got. Goodbye, tree. I've just deleted the grass. Oopsie. Right. <laughs> right. Get the jail doors in. Get the bars in. There we go. 
And then we're going to get the walls in, which we go four back. There we go. There we go, boys. Oh, I'm so excited right now. You don't understand how freaking excited I am. So I've just mimicked them. I haven't flipped them. I've just mimicked from the other side. So bam, 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 bam. There we go. We now have eight cells in. Now, of course, I could put bunk beds in, which means these eight cells could then hold 16 prisoners. That's a lot of prisoners right now. That is a lot of prisoners right now. Uh, how much have I got remaining? I've got 6,000 big ones now kind of remaining. So, 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 with that now all set up, um, we are going to then think how we can now incorporate it in with the current prison. So, I've got to make sure that when I open these cells up and this area up, they can't escape because that will be kind of terrible. That would be terrible. So I'm going to do a prison fence here. Bam, bam. Just for now to kind of block it all off. We'll do... We'll make this prison fence here. Which way did we... Oh, wait. Hold on. Have I got the prison fence the wrong way round? I feel like I might have the prison fence the wrong way round. Right. It's got to go this way, apparently. Going off what this current fence is. And we'll bring this down a bit further. So that is the central bam. Yeah. And how far do I take it? Do I just take it all the way? Bam, bam. And then we're going to need a smaller fence just here. Right, there we go. So we've incorporated this section so I can expand the car park out front. Not quite sure. I'll probably turn this section here into something I don't know. I might build some offices eventually over here. Again, I don't know. This is all trial and error at the moment. It's all trial and error. So if I just for now then bring this all in there, then what I can now technically do is delete this fence. So that's now gone, right? I know I don't have any prisoners or any, anything in there. That's now all gone. So in reality, I can delete these cells once I've got these all up and running. And then the prisoners can then rehouse themselves in this area and then there'll be a huge walkway where these current cells are right now to get in to like the canteen the shower area the yard this is how we do it this is how we do it boys oh my goodness man this is gonna be crazy so this space we have over here then is a little bit kind of out the way so what i might do is i might build in this section here uh the offices uh for all of our guards and stuff like that that's what we'll kind of use this space for uh so it won't be completely wasted and then what i'll do eventually then is once i bought these pizza land on this side we'll then build the shower block at the end to kind of finalize it all off and then try and replicate it, something like that over there build a yard in the middle between the two and then push the canteen slightly backwards that's how we'll do it it's gonna take a lot of money a lot of time but that's how we do it. And if you guys want to see more of this, like I said, smash that like button so we can turn this into a fully fledged series. So I need to make these actual cells then. I need to make these actual cells. So first things first, and we've now got to do the, the floors. So let's flip the camera so we go down. And can I just drag this to there for the concrete floors? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Bam, ba, bam. And then we need to do the, the roof, don't we? So how do we do the roof? Do I just... Do I go up a floor and then place it down? Is that how it works for the roof? That's actually quite simple, isn't it? That is actually quite simple. I'm kind of impressed that that's how, that's how it works. So we then need life necessities, bunk beds. Now, this is where the big money is going to be spent in trying to get all this now set up. So let's go for the metal rounded bunk bed. And... Now, these are placed by the cell door. I suppose that's like a really easy way to see if the prisoners are uh, asleep when you do like a, ro like a roll call. Is that, is that what it's called? And you can see it makes sure none of them have like actually escaped. And all that kind of jazz. So dropping those down, that's going to cost me well over a thousand big ones just for that alone. Uh, toilets then. The toilets have been placed like uh, here. So bam, bam, bam. Bam. So, as they're doing a poop, they can kind of look up at the bar window at the back. 
and glaze at the stars. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why, but they can. They can. And then we get the sink added in. Bam, bam, bam. Spin this round. Sink, 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 and sink. And they had a light in there as well, didn't they? Now, that comes under decorations, uh, a wall lamp. So we'll get the wall lamp going this way. So they got a little bit of light inside of their cell. I can have 16 prisoners. I mean, I'm going to delete these four, but that was a 16. This is going to be mental. <sighs> this is going to be absolutely mental. So let's now delete what we've currently got. So go up a floor, and we're going to delete first the roof of these cells. So you get a little bit of money back in that way. Delete you, delete you, delete delete okay i can't delete until i've deleted the furniture by the looks of it so delete delete what is that there i don't know what that is i've got to, I've got to check it out in the decorations uh delete the beds All right delete you off the wall delete you off the wall bam goodbye oh it's sink on this side delete 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 bam bam all gone. Holy moly. We are so freaking open right now. <laughs> and now we have this lone um, <laughs> guard office right now, which kind of feels a little bit weird, doesn't it? It really does. So the concrete floor then, of course, we've got to get it tearing through here. And then we're going to kind of build a walkway down to the canteen uh, just for now. Uh, the grass will extend just here. And we'll get rid of all of this dirt as well. And place down the grass. Just so it kind of fits in all nice. And it doesn't look as weird and stuff like that. And I think we've just got to do this little bit at the back here. Beautiful. Beautiful. So the cells have been expanded. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see what it looks like then. So, oh, okay, right. This really now feels different, doesn't it? Oh, I need, should I hire a janitor, by the way? Workers, janitor, 500 plus 20 big ones an hour. Right, I've hired a janitor, so they'll go around right now, hopefully cleaning up all the mess. But look at this, boys. This is looking kind of fantastic. So all the cells are now down here, and we have eight of them, which can hold up to 16 prisoners in total. This is really good. They walk down then to the canteen area, grab their food and go sit on the tables. Now, these hold four prisoners each, so eight prisoners in total. Uh, I'm unable to find available sport equipment. Oh, no, they're not getting happy, boys. They're not being happy right now. We need loads of gym equipment right now. That's why I'm going to make a huge yard area in here so they have everything available for them. Don't get too angry, you fools. Don't get too angry right now. <laughs> Don't escape. Don't escape. So this is looking pretty good. I reckon this is a really, really good start to begin with. Now, what I'll eventually do is, obviously, buy this land, replicate this on this side, buy the extra land, put the shower there, move the canteen further back, because then I can then replicate this behind it and going up, so I can get multiple uh, prisoners in, and just build a huge yard area in the middle. In these little enclaves down here, we'll build, like, all the guard stuff and all that kind of jazz. I'm unable to find sports equipment. They just want more weight benches, don't they? That's kind of what they want. More freaking weight benches right now. build um i could give it them or i could just do some more expansions <laughs> oh the decisions right now uh the decisions so i'll get how much are they it's 150 for another weight bench there we go treadmill i'll get another one in and i'll get a little bit of a basketball hoop as well i'm gonna drop that just there solely because i want to be able to get in another picnic table just here just for now just kind of bulk up my capacity so uh, when i get more prisoners in they, that more of them can sit down and enjoy i'm unable to take a shower what do you mean you're unable to take a shower we'll find a shower oh my goodness me we got to get so many shower shower heads in and stuff like that are you all having multiple showers i believe they are i believe they are go and have a shower you damn fool so with that said with the slight expansion in prison cells, I don't know. 
Do I go arrest some more folios? I think I do. Um, I need a bigger police car, don't I? How much is a bigger police car? How do you find where you get the police cars at? I'm not sure. I think it's in the build mode, isn't it? But um, should I buy a new police car next episode to hopefully arrest multiple crims? I think so. I think so. Right, hold up. Wait a minute. Have I ever arrested a female yet? I don't know. But if not, you're on my first. Pull in the back of the car. Let's go. Po po alert. Ooh. <laughs> That's my foolish siren noise. My foolish siren noise as we leave the big city. Right, up we go, boys. Gonna pull in now, skirt, skirt. Jump out. Get the crim out of the vehicle. And then release them. There we go. Now, it is quite dark around here. So, can I... Is this where you get the police vehicles, by the way? Uh, yes. So, the small police car has a capacity of one. The long one has a capacity of three, which is 3,000. Uh, the SWAT car has six. The limousine has eight. The military truck has 12. Which one should I buy? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's quite a lot, isn't it? It is quite a lot. Um, right. So, outdoor lights. Let's drop these two just here. As we kind of lead down on our little pathway. Do a nice little wall light to mimic that one. And then, oh, metal detectors as well. Okay, that looks heavy duty. That low key looks heavy duty. A light pole. Um, can, you can't squeeze now an outdoor light. Oh, I can. Just on these cells, uh, bars. Just add a little bit of lighting down here because it, it can get really, really dark. It can get really, really dark. And that provides some glorious light in here. Those big tall things are huge. Well, what's he complaining about right now? You got no food? Oh, we just dropped it. Oh, we got no trash cans, have we? The trash cans in here. We need more of them. We need more. Did I hire a chef in the end? No, I didn't. I've hired a chef now, boys. I've now hired, officially hired a chef. So it's currently dinner time. There is a bin over here, but they refuse to use the bin. They refuse to use the bin. But they're now, um, looks like they're slowly going back to their cells. So I've got five inmates right now. And this is looking so damn glorious. I think we'll end it for here anyway, guys. I think we'll end it for here. Uh, let me know what you think about my expansions, my future plans, where I should buy a police car in the next episode. If you want to see a next episode, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Bye.